everyone, welcome to Chicago. Um, so I got here not too long ago. <clears throat> the first thing I did is order deep dish pizza. Well, sort of. Really the first thing I did was, my room wasn't ready because I got here a little bit too early, but I had just flown and I didn't put on any makeup or anything like that and I was feeling kind of gross. So I went in a public restroom here at the hotel and I put on my makeup and I felt really weird about it, but luckily only one other person came in while I was doing that. But then um, I had my backpack with me and I was like, oh, I should drop off my backpack too at the front desk. So I went to drop it off and they're like, oh, your room's ready now. And I was like, oh. <laughs> so literally just in enough time for me to do my makeup in a public restroom and then my room was done. So came up here, ordered some deep dish Chicago pizza. Gotta do it. And I have never been to Chicago before. Well, kind of, I've driven through it and we stopped at a pizza place and that was about it. So my dream, is to see the bean, <laughs> the big sculpture, shiny bean thing in Millennium Park. So that's what I'm gonna do before my first meeting tonight. So some backstory, I am here as part of the Zaris Pharmaceutical Company um, gathering, I don't even really know what to call it and hopefully I'm pronouncing that name right, but they have some stuff to talk about regarding glucagon and some advancements and things like that. So I don't really know what to expect, but I'm excited to see what happens. Um, my room is huge, if you can't tell. So like, you could have a dance party in here, that's how big it is. So anyway, I'm gonna get out of this room so that I can get out there before um, it gets really dark. But check out my view. I'm on the 21st floor. So you literally can't even see the ground. Like at all. And the windows are nice and clean. <laughs> Pretty cool though, let's get going. saw the bean that was like my dream that was the number one thing I wanted to see in Chicago and I saw it so now I'm just wandering around to different parks and along the waterfront to kind of see what's around I would tell you what my blood sugar is but of course Dexcom is at the end of its life and so it's not reading but I was high before lunch or before yeah lunch setting which is really pretty but that also means I need to start walking back so I don't like to walk outside when it's dark out by myself so I'm gonna head back and get some Starbucks As you saw, my Dexcom kicked back in. I am 129, and my basal insulin was suspended that entire time, actually. Um, what time did I leave? Like two? 
So I was walking for about two hours. When they brought my pizza, they brought me gummy bears. Kind of funny. Whew. I'm kind of sweaty. I got hot in that coat because I was walking so much. So from Starbucks, I got an iced caramel macchiato. I usually bolus for about 30 grams of carbs for this. I also got a chocolate chip cookie just to, to nibble on a little bit. So I don't know if I'll eat the whole thing. So I'll just give a little bit of carbs for that. All right, so I ended up eating a lot more of the cookie than I thought I would, but I didn't have as much of the coffee until now. Um, so I bolus for 30 and then 15. So 30 for the coffee, 15 for the cookie. So I'm gonna bolus for 15 more grams. What a cute toilet. <coughs> Kidding. And then I just decided to wander around the hotel. I don't know, I just wanted to get the lay of the land, see different things. There were some really pretty areas, like pretty hallways and stuff like that. And I wanted to see the gym. But I came back and I was settling in, laying on the bed, and then I caught this in the corner of my eye. They must have dropped it off while I was gone. It says, welcome from the Zaris team. That's how I say it, I don't know if that's right. So let's open it up. I haven't seen what's in here yet, really. I just peeked. That's so sweet, though. What a surprise. We got a bottle of water. Always love to hydrate. We got a LaCroix mango. Yum. Actually, I don't really know. I haven't tried that one yet. And we have a mini kind bar, caramel, almond, and sea salt. Which, why do we always have kind bars at diabetes events? I feel like diabetes camp, we had these. I don't know, it's a trend. And at the diabetes conference I just went to. And ooh, a breakfast bar, kind peanut butter. Yum. Oh, cool. And there's a um, schedule of events that I know what is going on. They also sent this out in email form, but it's nice they put it all in one sheet. How fun, a little snack bag. I love gift bags. Thanks, guys. We're going back. Okay, now you are not. Already going back? Um, yeah. No, I've already got a marketing card. Yeah. So I forgot to update you guys. Um, I just got out of the shower. Clearly, my hair is all wet and my face is red. Um, but it was such a good night. Oh my goodness! I'll have to tell you more when I'm like more awake. But. It was so fun. There are so many people here who I recognize from the diabetes online community. And it's so crazy that all these people that I follow and have seen around online for years, I'm seeing in person and meeting in person. And then same thing, like there's people here who have been watching me for a long time and know my videos and who get to meet me. And so it's a really cool um, thing to be able to do. So yeah, we went um, on the 66th floor and we had you know, like appetizers and food brought out to us on trays and we just talked and had free drinks and then we went up to the sky deck where there is no floor in these little boxes. There's just like a window on the ground and it's super high up, it's on like the hundred something floor and so it's really fun. Um, and then we came back and just kind of hung out, got some food, talked with some people, other bloggers and stuff like that. So it was really, really fun, really fulfilling. And I got to meet, finally, my favorite diabetes blogger of all time. She's been my favorite since I was a teenager. Her name is Carrie Sparling from Six and Tell Me. And she is so, so sweet in person and so funny and fun. So it was a really good day. I'm going to go to bed now. Um, it's an early day tomorrow and I have to pack everything up too because I leave tomorrow. This is a quick trip but so fun. So this is probably a horrible angle, but good morning. I am curling my hair at the moment. Uh, I'm mostly done with the bottom layer here. But yeah, I slept really well. I am just gearing up for our first meeting, which is at seven today. So today is gonna be different than yesterday because it's mostly like talks and meetings and I think they're looking for our input and stuff like that. So. Um, It'll be a little bit less social in that aspect. So a little less just like hanging out and more so like businessy, um, but in a fun way. I'm like super excited. But yesterday was just so fun. It was so fun to get to know some of the other people. And I just, whenever I can connect with other type one diabetics, it's amazing. But then also 
when they also do social media stuff it's just like another level of connection and I don't often meet people um, who do similar things to me even though it's not YouTube it's still just like online diabetes social media and so that's pretty rare for me to find so it's been cool to like meet people who do that like it's a cool connection. So I'm excited today to see those people again and to take part in the meeting. I do fly out tonight at like 8 o'clock, so I'm going to check out of my hotel this morning and leave my bags at the desk and go from there because it's going to be a full day. So that's the plan. I will catch up with you guys later. Day two. I am all packed up and ready to go. Um, yeah, I finished a little bit early, so that's good. I'm gonna go check out and get on my way. I realized yesterday I didn't really film like the room or other people, but I just like got so wrapped up in what I was doing that I was having like such a good time and I was so preoccupied that I didn't like even film. So I don't know if I will today. The other people are not, honestly. Um, part of me wants to, but I'm also meeting these people for the first time and so I don't really want to throw a camera in their face, but I'll see what goes down. If anything, I'll insert some selfies, uh, so check those out. But I'm going to leave my room and go down to breakfast. Oh, also I did change my Dexcom yesterday and um, last night and then this morning when I woke up I was 65 so I was a little bit low actually but it actually raised on its own so I get the dawn phenomenon so on its own it raised to 76 and then I went from there and I had a snack and everything so yeah So I realized I finished the video and I never actually said what I learned um, from the whole trip to Chicago. So basically um, what they're coming out with, the company Zaris, is a new form of the glucagon injection. So right now glucagon always comes in a separate um, powder and liquid combination that has to be reconstituted or mixed basically before you can give it to someone. Um, and so I have a whole video about how to use glucagon and I'll link that in the description below. Um, so right now it's a little bit of a hard process, right? Because it's for, in the case of an emergency, you know, if you were to go unconscious, it is for a quick way to bring up your blood sugar without having to eat anything because it's an injection. It makes your liver dump out glucose and raise your blood sugar. But because it's not stable in liquid form right now, it has to be a powder and liquid that you mix together and redraw up in a syringe and then inject into the person's thigh muscle. Um, so it's kind of not super quick. So what Zaris is doing is coming out with a glucagon pen that is pre-mixed, so it's already ready to go and it's also an auto injector so you don't have to actually like manually inject the needle you would just push down and it would um, put the needle in push the medicine in and then when you pull it off um, it would take the needle out so it's really really a lot easier um, I think a lot less intimidating for people to have to use and learn about I think it'll be easier for me to teach other people how to use it because right now there's you know a few steps that go into it which is why I made that video about how to use it but with this it would be a lot more simple so that's the main product they're working on right now as kind of their first launch and so they were telling us about it but then also looking for our feedback as people with type 1 diabetes, um, our experience with glucagon, um, our experience with low blood sugar in general, our thoughts around low blood sugar, our feelings around low blood sugar, all of that kind of stuff, just gaining more of the real patient perspective and our thoughts on what they have so far and what they're coming out with. So it was a really, really great trip. Um, I'm so glad that someone's, you know, looking at glucagon again and redoing it because 
or not redoing it, but improving it, because it's kind of been the same thing for a really long time, and so it's about due for an upgrade. Um, so yeah, that's what the trip was all about. It was tons of fun, and I am so happy I got to meet so many amazing social media influencers that are in the diabetes community. I think that was um, honestly my favorite part, was just to connect with people that I've seen online and that I could finally meet in person. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I make new videos about diabetes all the time and leave a comment down below. See you guys next time. Bye.